students, many of us use Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel in the classroom. We might decide that there are some things that students don't pay attention to or there are difficult concepts to understand in some of these programs. We can give them direct instruction. For example, I create a tutorial that is paper form as well as a video tutorial for my students in setting up a paper in MLA style, how to set up an outline in Word, or setting up a formal spell check. Sometimes it helps the students to see those clicks as you're doing them. For example, if I want to set up a formal spell check and I go into File and Options, I can then click into Proofing and then check my writing style. Am I checking grammar only or am I checking grammar and style? I've shown that to them in a video that they can access anytime online. For those programs that need to use Microsoft Excel in order to analyze material, whether that's in accounting or a math class or a chemistry or biology class, you can show functions in Excel on the video, show students how to create their own formulas, and how to correct their formulas in the cells if something is not appearing properly in their assignment. So showing them directly how to perform these tasks in videos helps get some of those who struggle with software over the learning curve that much more quickly. Of course, Word and Excel are not the only programs that you can screen capture. Anything that you use for class, if you go online to my math lab or my comp lab or other programs that you have on your computer where you need to show students how to use that program, you can screen record them with any of these video products such as Camtasia or Screencast-O-Matic.